Hey guys, it's Bates1 and I'm here to review the Dictator which I saw today um, with my brother Dylan and um, yeah, I've currently reviewed three films with my brother Dylan. I haven't uploaded them yet. It, um, we reviewed Dark Shadows the night um, when it came out and we reviewed the movie Safe and Five Year Engagement. I've still got to upload them but um, I'm just telling you all that um, keep in mind that I'm going to be uploading them soon and that um, me and Dylan have been talking about maybe doing duo reviews, you know, just me and him reviewing films on my channel, you know. Um, yeah, so basically that's what we're thinking of doing. But um, anyway, let's get on with this review. So the storyline is basically about this dictator who... Um, doesn't want a democracy coming to his country called Wadia and um, you know he wants to keep dictatorship alive because he's like the last dictator and all that and um, you know he does stuff that you know is quite dictatorish <laughs> you could say um, yeah he's, he's quite he's quite a dick um, dictator anyway with the, with the film it he gets his beard shaved off and no one can recognise him, which is really cheesy because you can tell you can tell that that guy's a dictator, you know. And um, the dic by the way, the dictator's name is Aladdin, and this guy Aladdin, he gets his beard cut off, and no one can recognise him without his beard. And you know, there's this double of him, a guy that looks just like him, which is also played by Sasha Baron Cohen, which is the actual dictator. And there's another dictator, so there's like uh, the fake one and the real one, but really they're both the same because <laughs> there's Sasha Baron Cohen um, playing the same guy, really. So it's quite um, weird, you could say. Anyway, um, he gets his beard shaved off, and um, they're about to sign these papers so that they can hand over this democracy thing and um, this double up of. The real character um, of Aladdin is saying, "Oh yeah, I'll sign the democracy and all that," and um, yeah, blah blah blah. And the other dictators watching on, seeing how this guy's going. Oh yeah, I'm going to sign the forms and all that. And you know, because the other um, dictator has no beard, so he's like, "Don't listen to him. He's a liar and all that." I'm the real dictator, but really, people looking at him going like. What? Fuck, you know, like get the fuck out of here, man! You crazy bitch! And he's just like trying to stop this shit, but it's not gonna happen, you know, because the other guy looks like the real Aladdin, and the other guy is basically damned to hell because he can't stop this whole democracy thing, and he he wants to keep his dictatorship alive, you know. He wants to be the current Hitler of um, the generation, which. If this guy signs the papers, he's done for. He cannot be the Hitler of today or the Osama bin Laden. There's actually a few jokes about Osama bin Laden in this film. But I must say, you know, being a Sacha Baron Cohen film, um, you're expecting to see a scene which shows his dick in it. And, you know, just he shows his dick, you know. Again, he just always shows his dick. He just flops it out, you know. Here, I can give you an example if you like. So, guys, at least expect him to show his dick anyway, because, you know, there's not a film that doesn't have something pointy in it that looks like a dick, or that is a dick. But, um, you know, it's it's a good movie, but the only problem I have with it, it went too short. It went for like an hour and a half or something like that. It was just too quick. You know, when you're enjoying a film and you're really liking it, you and if it goes too quick, you know, you know how they say, oh yeah, time runs quickly if you're enjoying something. Well, that's the sort of thing of this film, you know. It's quite enjoyable and makes you laugh on some scenes. You know, some scenes are just r completely ridiculous. I will tell you something. Anna Faris teaches the dictator how to wank. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know, I thought it was a good film and. um yeah, I'd give it um, maybe two, three stars. Yeah, just just three, you know, because it, it had some good scenes, but 
Uh, I thought the bloopers had some great scenes. I didn't know why they didn't put them in the movie, but um, it's quite disappointing how they didn't put it in the movie. Oh, well, you know. Anyway, that's my review of The Dictator. Just a quick review. Um, just please subscribe and like, favourite, do whatever you want, you know. Um, but subscribing is mostly important to me because I like to keep these guys updated with films that are coming out. And I'm, I'm back now, you know, for good. So I'm reviewing films. I've been seeing a lot of films, actually. But I've got to go. See you later. Bye.